Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, family. Hello, family. Hello, family. My familiar... Is it called my familiar? Wait a minute. My familiar. That's Spanish, okay? Meaning my family. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. And just think, dear Hughley had picked that Monique about being the real person behind the uh, actor, actress she was trying to play in Precious. Huh? What you doing? Well, I'm, I'm doing my other video. You're supposed to get ready. I am ready. No, you oh, hush. Anyway. That's my daughter. See, they always be trying to talk to me when I'm trying to do a video. I'm like, God, do I have to, uh, do I have to teleport myself to another state? Because <laughs> they messing with my mind. They messing with my mind, people, okay? But I am just here today to say, hey, 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 Monique got to win. If Lee Daniels can forgive his trespasses against Monique, D.L. Hughley may already be trying to do so. I don't think so, but guess what? He should. And Kim Whitley, you will probably never work with Monique again, okay? Because she was on D.L. Hughley's side trying to take up for them men. And T.S. Madison, yep, she used her platform to spread the love of Monique trying to do the darn thing. She's saying she's trying to set the barriers straight for uh, upcoming women behind her. But Monique, we know you just trying to get to that bag. And I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you, girl. That's why I didn't really make too many videos about this situation that you were going through. Because if everybody can sue for everything else out here. Why couldn't you? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why couldn't you? But then you got your sister coming out here. I told you. Can't trust no family, no friend, no co-workers. Y'all gonna learn. Y'all gonna learn. Only trust the Lord. Only trust the Lord. Because if you call yourself gonna do an infraction with somebody, they gonna end up telling and then all y'all gonna get in trouble. That's why you don't do no crime with nobody and you won't do the time, okay? Because it's just be between you and the Lord. You and the Lord. And you have to come in. Uh, for your sins against him because he would judge you fairly okay but yeah i didn't like what monique's sister came out and tried to talk on monique about this that and the third i'm like man it's already bad when you got people that don't even know you be talking about you such as bloggers and then you got your so-called constituents you work with try to uh mow you down like dl hughley and steve harvey if i may keep them in my mouth okay yes monique had to be fighting against netflix and her co-workers in the business so i'm like my goodness get a woman get a woman a break okay she had just had to settle with um netflix then she had to come and get some more turmoil about who's supposed to go first on the stage when they were entertaining and who's supposed to go second well quite frankly if i'm getting paid the same kind of money i don't care when i go on because <laughs> if my commentary is going to shut the house down then so be it maybe everybody else leaving so they couldn't compare to uh coming out the monique and her commentary and they just said fuck it we gonna go and just do what we gotta do and get on off the stage okay but that's just my play i don't know how that really goes and why it really makes a difference when it comes to comedy shows but yes honey when i saw monique's sister coming i said oh lord she want a money grab somebody must have already told her that monique would be getting paid soon you know what i'm saying maybe she had a, a friend in the business that may have said oh monique gonna win that lawsuit girl or she not going to win that lawsuit. And so that's how uh, her sister want to come at her. But I'm like, see, family, I tell you, that this is not a true sister. Because a true sister will handle things behind the scenes. If Monique was that bad off in some 
places in her life or her thinking, then that should have been handled off screen, meaning no press, no press, no press. Okay, it's just going to be between you and the organization that you're trying to get your help, your sister some help, uh, meaning her sister to Monique. So evidently, it wasn't no situation like that. It was a big money grab or attention seeking thing. Uh, Cause I could see if she was a blogger or something like that, and she just wanted to cover her sister, but she's not even that. So to me, it had to be a money grab situation. So piss poor on her sister, piss poor, and double piss poor behavior on Steve Harvey and Dio Hughley for coming at Monique the way they were coming at her. Like two men don't supposed to be talking. I know women in the first place, okay? And damn so not arguing about who gonna go first, who gonna go second, who gonna go third type of mentality. But they did. They tried to put salt on her name and look where it got them no well, okay? Because uh Monique still came out. She still came out on top. She got her money she wanted from Netflix, which is they that's the ones um that's what they should have been giving her from the get go. But foul on Monique. We got to call Monique out too now. Come on, Monique. You shouldn't have used no uh, situation with D.L. Hughley's family. And uh, what he had to go through by him not taking up for his daughter on something uh, that happened so many years ago. Now, if you're going to fight with the people, fight with the people. But then again, they were talking about your husband, uh, Sidney. And, uh, he sh- you know, he ain't no good manager and this, that, and third. So, I saw the reasoning behind you want to go after the daughter. But uh, mm, that's still kind of bad. Because I would have to still drag D.L. Hughley and Steve Harvey for mud, filth, and any kind of other situation I wanted to drag them for. Because you had the platform. Now, one thing I can't get with um, Monique is these devil horns. See, she's not a rock star. We know she's not a rock star. So, we have to go into the understanding what we say conspiracy world. Is she serving Satan, y'all? Is she serving Satan? Okay. Because that's a little illuminated type signs and symbols they be throwing out but that's just here or there if you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about but we're gonna leave it right there at that doorstep okay we're gonna move on to another doorstep um on uh what do you call dear hugley and steve harvey giving her an apology yes i think an apology is needed to be deserved because you 50 cent he know what kind of um character he can make out of monique he know what kind of artist she is because she knows her craft okay she knows the acting world she knows the publicity world and she knows how to get paid okay she knows how to get paid but i hear on the down low that um they just said don't be trying to pay his actors any kind of money that's lucrative so i don't know monique maybe you want to do this a one deal with him and then just see how the cookie crumbles but for that woman right there she ain't nothing but a cloud chaser and not that good at acting okay i'm just saying uh not in the acting field and not in the com- comedian role don't too much like her at all uh dear hugley you know he just i don't know he just love up attacking women for some reason i'm like and then he's gonna talk about his wife hold his finances well evidently you must be doing some shit you don't need to be doing dear you must be really fucking up some money if your wife gotta come in and say he she gonna give you an allowance or not and then you're gonna keep this baby a secret that you had out of an outside affair you know what I'm saying? Your wife was paying the, the lady off to keep quiet. What kind of shit is that? And what kind of woman is your wife that going to get into any type of situation of that stickiness? I don't understand. And I'm looking at her sideways. Okay. Anything, I would have been taking your butt to court, divorce, and I'll still be living my life with another man. But that's neither here nor there. Some people just love to stay in situations. Okay. But we're going to go to an article that complex.com, C O M P L E X dot com wrote up okay roll up on miss monique okay who's winning the doggone thing i'm just saying just winning the doggone thing uh for the people in the back okay who thought monique was really losing when in a since she was winning okay but she couldn't show y'all all her hands she couldn't show y'all all her hand all right but it goes you gotta love monique the skinny one the fat one and the middle size one either way she's gonna be preaching the truth whether you like it or not she's talking about her story and nobody else's all right but i'm like 
Oh, <laughs> girl, go on and show yourself. Go on and show yourself. But uh, this lady by the name of Tracy William Cohen, she wrote an article and she titled it Monique and Netflix Reach Settlement and Lawsuit Alleging Race, Gender, and Discrimination. I'm like, ah, ah, three powerful words race, discrimination, and gender. Go ahead, girlfriend. They went on and said Netflix has reached a settlement with Monique in connection with a discrimination lawsuit she previously filed against the streamer citing racial and gender biases. According to the Hollywood Reporter, which cited court documents in its update on Wednesday, the two sides of the legal disagreement moved to dismiss the suit this week specifics regarding the agreement however has not been made public during a sway in the morning interview back in 2018 monique detailed the basis of her decision to take action against netflix she noted the difference in potential pay being offered in comparison to deals the streamer had made with other comedians including amy schumer amid coverage of monique's criticism of netflix she also called for a widespread boycott of the platform and you you know Dale Hughley and Steve Harvey had a lot to say about that shit. But look at the egg thrown in their face. Now look at the egg thrown in they men's faces now. Thinking a woman can't holler, hear her roar. Monique had to show y'all. <laughs> and TS Medicine is showing y'all behind as well. Okay. But the LGBT community. All right. Not in this article. That's just my side by side play. Okay. Going back to the article. It says so last week. We got an offer from Netflix. Okay, the offer was for five hundred thousand. Monique told Sway at the time, as I seen above, that wasn't the first insult per Monique. She also shared copies of emails from Netflix reps during the hour long interview and alleged that Netflix leadership at first at first declined to speak with them further about the deal until they pointed out what she said at the time looks like racial and gender discrimination. More frequently, or more recently, Monique had been in headlines amid a highly publicized contract dispute with fellow comedians D.L. Hughley. In short, the disagreement began at a stand-up show in Detroit that featured both comedians on the lineup, with Monique and Hughley later shared gig-related paperwork to social media. Okay, but as we can understand, Monique saying he was just showing a demo deal and she had the Ace Moon Coon uh, contract with Signature. So his was null and void. Okay, in the public eye of opinion, as Monique was stated. Okay, that was my sidebar. You know, I get in, I make my little uh, hits here and there because I want y'all to know how I feel. <laughs> okay, but Wednesday. Okay, Wednesday, Monique shared footage from the set of Stars uh black family um, uh women black something what is that mafia family okay telling fans it's an honor to be a part of the 50 cent back series okay i'm like go ahead monique and that was pretty much it for that particular article but i think we summed it up in a nutshell she said cuff dear hugley cuff steve harvey cuff uh kim whitley cuff uh, anybody that wanted to come against her when it was time for her to shine and get her money. She ain't no fool. She ain't no newbie in the industry. She knows what is what. And I'm right with her. I'm right with her because even um, Bernie Mac could respect Monique. He wasn't all about uh, fussing and arguing and, and, and trying to negotiate c contracts in the public. I, you know, I, I really uh, admired uh, said the entertainer as well as Monique. Uh, and and um, do we call it um, Bernie Mac? Because uh, they were really funny. They really, really were. And I like them. Okay, but the rest of them, they can kick rocks. Kick rocks. That's why they're doing other things other than doing stand up shows and, and selling out, you know, millions and millions. You know what I'm saying? Because, hell, if you had the choice to, to see D.L. Hughley and Steve Harvey versus Monique and Bernie Matt, which one would y'all choose? I know y'all would choose the latter rather than the first because they are played through and timed out. Okay, that's what I'm saying. And that's where I'm going with. With it. But that's all I got for this particular um video, guys. Come back and see me for more because you know I got more coming. <laughs> all right. And happy Saturday. Happy, 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 happy Saturday. Get your rest on, honey. Get your rest on because it's too hot. It's hot as hell in Atlanta, Georgia. It got up to like 103. <laughs> and I ain't talking about the radio station. I'm talking about the heat. The heat. And it wasn't the index either. But that's all I got. I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all have a good one. Bye.